Now, where could they be? I mean, honestly, where could they be? The Desert Ridge? Desert, Desert Ridge? Oh. All right. This is going to be fun. So you got one, two, three, four, five. Where's Aw oh. Raimi, Rachel, Destiny, Katie. My name is Destiny Service and this is my faith journey. Um, I'm going to take you all back to the month after I was born. I had RSV, I was in the hospital for a while, but I had my loving family with me the entire time. I continued to heal, I went home with my mom later on, I was second born child of my family after Brianna, then my brother and sister were born. Growing up, I was not exposed to Christianity because we were not Christians and never went to church. My mom couldn't take care of my sister and me, so we went to live with my uncle. My uncle wouldn't really pay close attention to me or my sister. He did take us to church, church occasionally, but not enough for things to stick with us. Soon, he didn't want to take care of us anymore. He told us that we needed to pack all of our things and that we were on our way to our grandparents' house. 
Little did we know that we would not return to him. We were about six years old when we moved in with our grandparents. My dad has never really been in my life except for a short time. For a long time, I was angry with God because I didn't understand why other kids could talk about how their dads did this or how their moms did that. Looking at that, I still want that, but right now there's no way that is going to happen. I love living with my grandparents and I wouldn't change living with them. God put my sister and me in a home, in a good home. I am grateful for what God has done for my family. Um, my faith started to grow when I went to jam. I feel like I could learn more about God and I felt that my faith was growing. My mom would occasionally have my sister and I see her and my, bro and my sister and brother, but soon the visits got further apart. Then all of a sudden we weren't seeing them for months or a year. The times that we did visit them was very hard to say goodbye because there was no promise that we would see them again. I took my anger out on God. I felt as if he didn't want me to be seeing my family. I backed away from God and church was just a way for me to try and reconnect with him. <clears throat> Soon I realized that this wasn't God's fault. I stopped blaming God for my problems, instead I prayed to him about everything. This leads to my Bible verse, don't worry about anything, instead pray about everything. Philippians 4, 6. I feel that this verse really spoke to me because I needed to pray about everything, even if it was telling him my problems. He is there to listen to me. If someone today asked me how is my faith with God, I would reply and say that it is still growing and that I want to become a better Christian. If someone were to ask me why I'm a Christian, I would say because God gave us his only son to take away our sins. If he didn't send him, then we would all not be going to heaven. If that doesn't show you how much God loves us, then I don't know what else will. Thank you. My name is Rami Valerio, and this is my faith journey. Some of you may share my faith story, some of you may not. I've gone to church my whole life and was baptized in March of 2001. I always went to Sunday school and VBS during the summer. Now I help teach Sunday school and help with VBS. I also attend youth group on Sunday nights. When I was young, I went through a time where I questioned God. I think we all go through that at some point in our life. When my family and I switched churches, I had the opportunity to go to camp. I had never gone before because my old church didn't have that option. I was hesitant to go because I was so new to everyone and not very outgoing. The people, however, made me feel welcome. I made quick friends, which helped me decide to go to camp. So I did. It was the summer after sixth grade, and it was a week I will never forget. I can easily say it was the best week of my life, when I truly accepted Jesus into my life with full understanding. The camp that some of you may know was UCYC. Now I have gone every year since, and now also attend Lost Canyon. I am very happy we chose this church because the people are wonderful and I have so many amazing experiences that have taught me more about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The Bible verse I chose to share and that is meaningful to me is Jeremiah 29 11, which says, God declares, I think of you and I have plans for you of prosperity and a future filled with hope. God has a plan for all of us and we don't have control of our lives because we may want to go one way, but he wants us to go another. Katie Nelson, and this is my faith journey. When I first heard about Beyond all the way back in January 2014, I had no idea what it was. My mom just told me that I was going and that my friend Rainey was going to. I had, I had no idea what to expect. I thought it was just a one-time thing and not something that would actually last 18 months. And honestly, I didn't want to go at first. To me, it was just something my mom was forcing me to do. But after a while, I started having fun and not seeing it as an obligation, but as an opportunity to really learn more about my faith. When I was in kindergarten, I used to go to a different church. I would go to Sunday school class with all the other little kids while my parents went to the service. I would usually fight with my parents at home, not wanting to go to church. Honestly, the only thing I looked forward to was the donuts at the end of the service. <laughs> Around the time I started third grade, we stopped going to church. We didn't start going until I was in sixth grade, when Rainey introduced us to Light at the Desert. 
This was when we started to get more involved with the church, like volunteering, going to youth group, and, or going to church camp. I started hanging out with people around my own age instead of just my little sister. I've always been shy and antisocial, and I'm not good at making friends. These people have been supportive and helped me through my faith journey. I have always seen things with a logical and scientific point of view. For me, I have to see it to believe it. And I think this makes it a lot harder for me to believe in my faith. But as I was thinking about this, a verse in the Bible stood out to me. In Hebrews 11.1, 1, it says, Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. I don't really know the specific time or the specific day that I actually really started to think about my faith. It may have been when I went to church camp or when I started beyond. What I do know is that I've decided to take my faith seriously. As I continue my faith journey, I know that I have the support of my friends and family. My name is Rachel Powell, and this is my faith journey. I'm just going to jump right into things. I don't talk about my faith, like, ever. In fact, I'm uncomfortable talking about my faith. I will go to great lengths so that I don't have to talk about it. I like to change the subject until people just forget about it, but I can't do that here. <laughs> I have to talk about my faith today. And I found, when I started writing this, that I have a lot to say about my faith story. I grew up in a Christian home, and I accepted God at the age of five. After that, I just didn't think about him at all. When I was ten, I went to my first church camp. I, like most people that go to church camp, had a complete mountaintop experience. While I was at camp, I just wanted to talk about God all the time, and I wanted to pray and read the Bible every day. But when I came back from camp, I just didn't even try. Yet again, I completely forgot about God. I would go to church every Sunday and sit there and be bored. I just wanted the service to end so that I could go hang out with my friends. After a while, I couldn't even wait till after the service. So my friends and I started passing notes during the church service. Basically, for as long as I can remember, church was a boring thing that I had to sit through every week. And after church was over, I could get on with my life. But then something changed. I don't know when it was, and I can't put my finger on when it happened, but at some point, I started seeking God. I noticed it one week after the service while I was riding home. My mom was talking about the service and said that she missed something that Pastor Paul had said. She asked if I could tell her what happened. To my surprise, I was able to tell her what happened, and I even threw in the joke that Pastor had said. <laughs> this seems really tiny. But this is where my faith truly began. After that day, I couldn't stop thinking about God. I paid attention during church services and when I was reading the Bible. I learned all kinds of things about him that I had already been told. But I think it's different when you discover something for yourself. I learned that God is good. I learned that he has a plan. And I also learned that I want to be part of his plan. So here I am, talking about my faith and telling people my story. It was really hard to get up here and do this, but I hope that after this, I will be able to talk about my faith more openly. I'm going to keep working on my relationship with God, and even though I just started my faith journey a few years ago, I am ready to take the step and get confirmed and be part of God's plan forever. My name is Kenzie Roberts, and this is my faith journey. I'm brand new. Uh, I know one thing's true. I don't even Growing up, Christ has been always there. My grandparents always encouraged my family to go to church. When I was younger, church was a fun place to go to. When I got when I got older, I started to understand the importance of church. Vacation Bible school was one of my favorite things to do. I would beg and beg to go. The dancing and singing helped. I would leave that day singing. About two summers ago, I helped here at Light of the Desert. It made me realize that God saves. My grandparents are a big part of my faith journey. We have a big discussions about the Bible. I've been to so many different churches with them and got to experience many interesting things. Jesus has played a big role in who I am now. The Last Supper is one of the many stories that I have and that has an effect on me. This symbolizes Jesus. He died and came back for us. It's crazy to think about. 
No matter what God, no matter what, God saves us from the bad one. I am the type of person to ask a lot of questions. Multiple times I would stay after beyond class to ask questions. My, by taking these classes and asking questions, I've learned that we don't have to be afraid. Knowing God saves us, we can trust him. Over the course of a year and a half, I've grown and learned the amazing ways of Christ. Chloe Klein, and this is my faith journey. Well, I, home. I found a church my entire life. When I was little, I thought everyone went to church. As I grew up, I only ever prayed at dinner time and bedtime. I rarely thought about God or Jesus throughout the day. When we moved to Arizona, I was eight years old. I really wanted to start listening to the pastor at whatever new church we went to. It was hard. When we started regularly coming to Light of the Desert, it became easier and easier. I only started to get to know God and apply some of the sermons to my life pretty recently. As I continue to get to know God and grow in my relationship with Him, I learned how nice it is to have someone that always knows what's going on in my life and has a plan for me. One of the most special moments that I've had with God was when I was at UCYC church camp. We were having, one of, we were having a service on the last day with everyone there. The pastor running the service asked all the kids who have decided to follow Jesus to stand up and sing the song, Here I Am to Worship, with the worship team. And when everyone joined in singing, I felt the Holy Spirit, and I knew that God was with me always, was with me and always had been. Now, Here I Am to Worship is one of my favorite songs. Since then, I try and look for God's help in all I do. I hope that as I go on with my life, our relationship will continue to grow and get stronger. I know that God has a special plan for me, and I intend on following it.